Update on the radish experiment. <clears throat> uh, now that it's mid-November, we've had some hard freezes. These are all mushy. Um, they stink. Um, can't imagine a deer eating these right now. But what they do do is they'll mash down and create a mat of green that you can drill your next spring's crop through. Um, they also bring a lot of nutrients up from the subsoil and they uh, till your soil. So, you know, the radish itself uh, creates a little bit of a tillage here. So that gives you a, a hole for holding moisture after that rots. Seed can fall down in there if you're hand seeding. Now over here we have winter peas and they don't look too great either but winter peas can last through the winter especially if you get some snow and you can see that that creates a really nice mat uh, produces nitrogen and that'll be weed suppression next spring so if you have that in your food plot you can drill right through that now and not probably not have to use Roundup if um, you don't have real bad weed problems like foxtail or something like that coming but again nitrogen producing tillage weed suppression it's good to use cover crop systems for your food plots um, what I'm going to try up in New York uh, the only thing that's really nice and green up there is the the peas and uh, deer are eating them there was a couple of fawns in it the other day eating them and uh, I'm going to drill sunflowers through that and then the peas will climb up the sunflowers and if they get a good coating of snow up there it keeps them insulated so they stay alive um, and again as you can see over where I didn't water it these were planted August 1st so where I didn't water it they didn't grow I watered this one so you have to get a little bit lucky with the rain. Other than that, uh, had a pretty good cover crop there.